Hello, hello, this is Jacob Perry with Patagonia Bee Products. Uh, if you don't know who we are, we are a company that sources hive to hand raw honey from the rainforest of Patagonia. So every one of our jars comes from a single beekeeper. That's what hive to hand means. I'm going to talk about that more in a minute. Uh, that's the subject of today's episode. Uh, and, and then each, each variety of our honey is, is made from uh, bees who go to a different floral um, source, right? A different flower and make it from that nectar and that's what makes it so unique. Um, so really the purpose of these, this, um, this little video series that I'm going to do is to help educate the consumer. This is a process I've been through. Um, I used to think all honey was the same. I didn't understand how honey worked at all or how it could be unique. I didn't understand why it was important to look at the, the, um, the origins of your honey and, and the whole process it goes through. So I want to share that with you guys. It's been a journey for me and um, learned a lot about it. And I want to help spread that information so we're making more conscious and informed decisions as, as honey consumers. Um, just like we now appreciate craft beer so much. I love craft beer. Um, and we used to think that Bud Light was bitter. We now know it tastes like water and craft beer is delicious, right? <laughs> So, like I mentioned, uh, today's episode is going to focus on hive to hand and what that means. So, many of you have heard of farm to table, uh, bean to bar with chocolate. These are these are just terms that were coined to capture the idea of of getting a product from producer to consumer as directly as possible, right? So, when you don't have intermediaries, you um, first of all the producer gets more of the profits. You don't have profits being skimmed off at every stage. Uh, and then you also have the most assurance that your product is getting, is arriving to you without adulteration and, you know, too many hands being on it in between, you don't know what's happening to it. So this is the same, same, same idea, right? We're trying to capture the same idea with, with hive to hand. And uh, when we were thinking about um, how we do business, which is, is very intentionally meeting directly with the beekeepers, the producers, I go down there and, and I meet with them and I stay with them and their families. I, I visit their hives with them, get stung like crazy by bees and swollen up and red and itchy and harvest the honey with them. We do it all. Um, and, and we bring that to you as directly as possible. I actually coordinate directly with my beekeepers for the exportation and importation. Uh, they handle everything on the Chilean side. I handle everything on the United States side. And we're not having to deal with a major exporting company. So uh, th this is why uh, we decided we needed a, a, a coin term for the honey industry that doesn't exist out there. Um, because this is very important and this needs to be done. Um, so we named it Hive to Hand. It's coming from the beekeeper's hives to your hand. Um, and this is, this is very, um, very intentional and, and, and as literal as it can be. Every jar of our honey comes from the hives of one beekeeper, one single beekeeper to, to your hands if you're the ultimate consumer, right? We're not homogenizing it, mixing it in with other honeys. We're not sending it off to get uh, mixed in with honey from Brazil and China and in other places and then shipped off as this bulk liquidy honey that's pasteurized. Every jar comes from hives located in one place in the rainforest, one beekeeper's hives, and they preserve that uniqueness. They preserve the uniqueness of, of a floral season, of a specific year, right? Every jar of ours comes from the harvest season of one year, um, and that's how you really get the ultimate um, uniqueness in your honey and the highest quality product. And we're doing this because we want the beekeepers to benefit the most. They get the best wages when we do hive to hand honey, right? And you get the lowest prices because uh, there aren't middle groups taking, you know, taking profits and, and raising the price. So uh, that's why we're doing hive to hand. We hope you love it. Um, you're not having to worry about other honeys getting mixed into this, um, it getting homogenized with other stuff or pasteurized. This is raw hive to hand honey with the unique notes from one place, one beekeeper, uh, and that creates a connection to you. So know that every jar you enjoy um, has, has a specific place of origin with one person, and that person is incredibly proud that you're now getting to enjoy that honey. Uh, a lot of the beekeepers keep mentioning how excited they are that the gringos are now loving and appreciating their honey, and as, as we should. This honey is incredible. So I'm glad uh, you now get to experience it and stay tuned for more episodes. I'm going to discuss a new theme every week, discuss a new topic that was, is interesting, that uh, a lot of people don't know about, that is new to them. Um, these are things that I've learned on my journey, uh, understanding honey and how international business works and how to do it the best way possible, ethical, source, uh, ethical sourcing and um, injecting morality into capitalism at every step. This is the point of Patagonia Bee Products and um, we'd love to share it with you.
So we'll see you next time. Bye.